Friends, in today's episode, we take a look at the outdoor part of Apple Valley Hillbilly Gardens and Toyland. Stay tuned. Guys, this, this is my grandparents all going close to the door. I got air, I got air on there, supposedly. supposedly. Oh yeah, just on the bad puns, if you don't know what your VHS tapes, you always make a Pac-Man game or a Space Invader game. <laughs> so that's all VHS yeah, tapes. Yeah, that's, that then, is funny. And then you're, you're near the quilt capital of the world because Paducah is known for their quilt. Yeah. yeah. So we have our quilt pattern over for the quilters. If you look at it really close, you'll notice our stitching is really tight. Yeah, there's no stitching over there. Yeah, they all right. say, I take their stitching in. I see what you're saying. Because yeah. I saw the quilting museum yeah. well, out on the highway. Oh. Oh yeah, and a mu 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 music, uh, music thing. This, this is kind of like a music thing. Uh, well, my, back in the 70s when my uh, friends were seeing ACDC, Black Sabbath, Alice Cooper, those guys, I'm not in the Watch Barbecue Quartets because I thought that was really happening. Mm -hmm. So I treated my parents to Barbecue Quartet. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's funny. But here's, here's the old floor. Wow. And what my wife was wanting to point, point out for her, forget about it, is uh, seven up back in the 76 for the bicentennial year. Mm -hmm. They did a series of 50 cans. Each can has stayed on it. On the back, is there these little blue or red seven ups. And when you stack them up, I don't know if you can see it or not. When you stack them up, they met Uncle Sam. Oh, you, wow. Oh, you see it in the can or not? Yeah, look at that. It had the shapes of all the different ones when you stack it up. Amazing. Yeah, I just find that kind of amazing. It is. And then, I don't know, everything in here, this was our, uh, everything from, a, you know, like, I know you've been to tons of old country stores, but this has been everything from a, uh, a country store, a probably a three-seat diner, they actually cook chicken dinners in here. Uh, my grandfather cut people's hair in here. It was never officially a barbershop. And, uh, and it was a golf gas station from 39-64. Not a service station, but a golf gas station. Just so, so we got, got golf gas here. Wow. And then, you got quite a collection in here. Uh, even there, that was a western theme park. It used to be near here. That was in uh, Draftonville, about eight miles from here. But it closed in 79, so there's absolutely nothing left. And so it's just gone. It's gone. There, there, there's only two slabs of concrete. It's all you're going to find if you went there. But you might notice, uh, speaking of the old country stars, they had a lot of big names there back in the 70s. You might notice Johnny Cash, uh, Johnny Cash, I don't know who else, uh, uh, back, Johnny Cash, uh, Barbara Streisand. Uh, I mean, it was who's who, including the monkeys, performed there. Wow. But yeah, there's nothing left to the place anymore. There's actually a beer. And called. it was Kentucky Territory? Kentucky Territory, yeah. yeah. It was there from 79 to, I was there from 67 to 79. Wow. And I just have a bunch of love of everything in here. Man, this is really, really cool. Really and, well done. And the old uh, coffee, like hot coffee and then the fresh eggs that you might saw on the other side. Those are my grandparents' actual old signs. And then in the old days, this countertop did come straight from this window. came straight from this window. So that Coke thing you see there would sit right here. And mm -hmm. they went to the front door, and they went to the back door. Mm -hmm. And my grandfather was supposed to have a full-fledged moonshiner, so I'm going to assume he had his moonshine head back here. Mm -hmm. so he, might he only had this much room to walk. Mm -hmm. And then just a, uh, something I found interesting, I, I collected cans back in the 70s, and I forgot we drunk Gatorade from cans. I didn't ever know that. I've never seen that. Yeah, I, I forgot it. I, I, lived, I lived in this area, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. I got so used to the, the bottles. And then, of course, my kids, the, the bad puns, have take, taken over, too. So these are some of my kids' projects. So this is my... Daughter's penguin, complete her palm tree. <laughs> they behind you there, you might notice that train. Uh, it's a shoe shoe train. Oh, the train right there. Oh, right here. Yeah, yes, I see shoo -shoo it. Shoe train. Shoe shoe. Yep. And then his <laughs> toasted turtle, toasted turtle, uh, collie dog, <laughs> rat catcher. You can kind of see all the bad puns. Yeah. There. Interesting. And then I was a puppeteer at one time, so these are actually a couple of my leftover puppets from, from the puppetry days. Those are big. Yeah, they were good. I did puppetry from 79 to roughly 84 ish, 5 ish. So I see here you got Clyde. Yeah, well, that's Clyde Wallace. Yeah, and these, this, was a, this was a grandfather that ran it. Clyde Wallace, you might have noticed all, over there, I don't know if you noticed when he came in. My grandmother swore Bonnie and Clyde hung out here for two, two nights, and there was a shotgun left here, and my grandmother told me it was left by Clyde Barron. Mm -hmm. And my mom was only three years old at the time, but my grandmother hated any movies or any stuff about Bonnie and Clyde because she considered them mean, evil people. She said the worst people she had ever met. And they supposedly hung out here two nights hiding out. And they said I left a gun behind. But when my mom would talk to me about it, she goes, I think your grandma was getting Clyde tangled up with your great uncle. I see. So she's mixing the two up. But however, my grandma was not a storyteller. She was one of those people in the 70s when I come down to visit her. I'd come down, she'd feed me 
15 minutes, she was gone. I couldn't find her. She was on the property somewhere. Yeah. And, stuff. and I had to kill like an hour and 45 yeah. minutes down here. So she was on a storyteller. So I kind of believed it. And when I came back, I forgot about the story. I lived out in Denver for three years, out in L.A. for 20, 20 years. And when I got back here, my mom had already passed away, but uh, she left me a scrapbook. And as I was reading through the scrapbook, she uh, had written paragraphs saying the shotgun you may find in the attic was supposedly left here by Clyde Barron. However, I think it was left by your great uncle, Clyde Wallace. Wow. So I did research on the gun. It dates to the right time period, at least. And when I started doing research in the area, I had never heard of Bonnie and Clyde coming to Kentucky. But as you probably do know, they ran as far as Wisconsin, Minnesota when you start doing research yeah. on them. And they came through Kentucky quite often. Well, I came across an article where a bank nearby here did get robbed by a man and woman. So, of course, some of the old-timers do blame Bonnie Clyde. Was Bonnie Clyde. But, but as you know, if a man and woman walked in, you know, all... You it was know, always Bonnie Clyde. Clyde. Yeah. And, then, uh, and I uh, say Buford's... Yeah, well, that's kind of a that's 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 kind of a made up thing. To, to, yeah. To, to, like, uh, I was on all that, but because I was speaking of, of, of the deceased thing, uh, one time I got uh, contact from his his daughter, which unfortunately passed away. But yeah. his daughter contacted me one time on Facebook, going, "I hear you got one of my my dad's uh, walking sticks," <laughs> and I kind of let maybe. <laughs> and, and then she replied back, "Yeah, I saw someone show me pictures." And she goes. You, you possibly could get one for me, maybe. <laughs> so it's like about the ones that they sold there, and we we started corresponding back and forth on on, on Facebook for a while. So that was kind of kind of exciting to me because uh, I was also pursuing acting, and then uh, a friend of mine. Uh, well, I knew uh, uh, I know Bruce Glover a little bit, and a friend of mine is also friends with with, with uh, you know his son. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't think of his name now, but you know I'm talking about the Back to the Future guy. Well, he was in all three of the films. He was in all three of the films, so it was kind of interesting being able to talk to all that. I don't know, that's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied here. Oh, no, it. you're doing but, great, man. Thank but, you. But it, but it's kind of, I just find all that kind of interesting. So I got to talk to his daughter for a while. I didn't, I didn't realize she had passed away recently because someone stopped here one time and yeah. told me, did you realize she passed away? Yeah, like, she did. Yeah, I, I yeah. said, no, I didn't. I go, like, I explained, because, you know, like you're friends with people on Facebook yeah. and you'll chat for a while and then all of a sudden Facebook decides you don't need to see those people anymore. Yeah. And that's what figured what happened to her. I didn't know she had yeah. passed away. It'll just kind of, it'll kind of move around. Because yeah, I'd sure. ask her questions, she'd answer them to me to the best of her knowledge. And it was kind of cool. Love that Roy Rogers yo yo right there. Yeah, Roy Rogers yo yo. Yeah. Then you can let me know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's the body of Clyde. Uh, gun, yeah. And that's why I have the word lift, just in case I am telling a friend. <laughs> I don't have to spell lift, but just in case. And then, of course, I'm going upon the new, the new, uh, uh, winter history went from being history to, to, to doing their own movies. Uh, yeah, they did one Bonnie and Clyde, so that's why the bang bang came yeah. for that song. But yeah, that's the actual stove. They kicked the chicken ears off. Uh, they sort of chicken ears over the counter. And, uh, and they do that, and then of course, uh, as you might already not, not even notice, over, over here, you get your oil, I think it's stuck, stuck the area, you get your oil in these jars, you know, yeah. I the oil up. So you get your oil, your food, and your haircut right here, all across the same counter, and something tells me. Sharpener. Yeah, and something tells me he used the same oil at all three. <laughs> yeah, all I three spots. <laughs> now, you might, you might notice too, too, you have the old clippers here too. Where you had to actually squeeze them oh, by yeah. hand. I mean, I know you've seen them before, but those clippers where you yeah, had to, you have to squeeze them, yeah. And Which is all electric now. Got all that, and then, the, of course, that goal sign is the actual sign from the from the business when it was open. Oh, cool. And then even those musical instruments that are in the corner are actually my grandfather's old musical instruments. Now, I do not remember my grandfather. I was born in 61, he was born in 64, so I don't really remember him, but my mom told me he lay a chill on the ground, plunk it with his toes, play wire string instrument, do the harmonica bit, and sing. Hmm. Now, what I found interesting, I do have a wax disc, is, or they're like LPs, but they're mm -hmm. wax. And when I listened to it, it kind of blew my mind. He was playing classical and not, you know, what I was going to call hillbilly bluegrass. Yeah. And it kind of blew me in my mind. Wow. So I guess technically that's a violin. I know it's how you yeah. play it, but he did do both. But I just yeah. wasn't expecting classical. And there's a picture of my grandfather in 1939. That's him in 1939. That is very cool. And then, of course, all the stuff you see are the golf stuff. It's all stuff that's sold here. Uh, some of these makeshift tools, some of the stuff they sold here, and some of my grandmother's make, you know, makeshift tools, and then of course a little bit of my home memorabilia throughout the years, and things sort of county loved me. Yeah. Files petition against Hillbilly Gardens. They they can't leave it alone, can they? Uh, that, and then the, that, that's the concept drawing of uh, what the toy land was supposed to look like on the outside, on the outside of the building. I like it. Yeah, you know, then of course, as I think you were already starting to pan, you got some of the beer cans. I know you're familiar with Gillies. Yes. The Gillies old establishment. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Mickey. The, the, Mickey's got yeah. all the different uh, brown Johnny berry, Bitch. All, the, yeah. all the different. Yeah, I don't know. It's like it's, it's full of stuff in here, including you might notice uh, there is a company near near here that makes copper steel. So they give me that miniature copper steel to represent their business, and uh, I'm setting mine on a hot plate. And yeah. you may notice I'm trying to make Old Faithful. Yeah. Old Faithful. And, <laughs> and of course, each toad is guarding my steel. 
H stuff. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> so I uh, everything is tongue cheek. You got cool stuff here. And so you decorated the cars. Well, the cars. Well, every, everything is kind of put together bad pond. So you might even notice from here you did have deer in the headlights. I see it. Well, the car doesn't move fast when it has one horse power. <laughs> And you might All right, let, so let me get as close so they can see one horsepower. And as you're, as you're walking here, you might notice we used to give ghost tours, but our ghost vanished. So now we give goat tours. <laughs> I got pulled over. I got pulled over the other day driving this thing because it only has one headlight, by the way. <laughs> I see we see the one headlight down there. But oh, one headlight. Yeah, bud light. One yeah, bud light. <laughs> There's a one horsepower. And then we're surfing the level on top. Be surfing the web. Got the uh, wise men and Santa Claus in there. Santa Claus will bring the wise men in style. And what kind of car is that? I have no idea because it, it, it was uh, something that was being filmed here and we got to keep the prop. It's a Dodge. It's a Dodge. That's sort. all I know about it. Yeah. I, I, I'm not into cars. I mean, I don't that much. It's been here a long time. And then you might notice oh, oh, over here that old saying you can't beat a dead horse. Mm -hmm. Well, you can sure split a dead horse. <laughs> And even like that, we have a lot of horseradish. Horseradish. So er everything around here is a bad plan, including you're standing right next to the riding high tree. Riding high. Oh, get 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 over here. What's that water out here? That's why it's in our south. That's why we get you over here in case, in case you leave before I get put down to do all the bad puns. <laughs> you might notice we we have to be chickens. They're making with well, our trees too, so we have an issue with chicken trees. Chicken trees. <laughs> and then that is where my grandfather's golf pump stood when, mm -hmm. when it was a golf gas station. But that one's my miniature muffler man now. You might notice one front that has a face in her neck. Well, he might be suiting the neighbor slightly. <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then this one's your original potty mouth. Potty mouth. That's now, funny. Water, water's okay, cool. It's working. I, you probably saw me running around my WD 40 making sure this thing works right. This is our room for rent. Room for rent? Yeah, like the room for rent. Train signs are sent in here right now. And you might notice that we had driving a movie theater for you, but you did. Unfortunately, it's closed. So, but even like closed, you might notice the whole scene is still barely hanging on. Yeah, I see. You must be doing a pretty good job since the train signs are not moved since we've been here. There's both seats. And then, of course, we do a full bowl of as well. Completely the seats in Texas. <laughs> And there's a restaurant right here called Patty's and they have a grist water wheel. Mm -hmm. So this is my hillbilly homage to them. And you might notice we have the issue of water moccasins. Yes. Water moccasins. Yeah, yeah. And we have the big rattler there too. <laughs> and, and then our trees are budding nicely, by the way. Yes, they are. <laughs> First flower that sprung up this spring, but it's already springing forward on me. So it's a good thing I have a basket full of bulbs to plant. Now, if you're staying here, you might want a restroom. So, yes, we did splurge and put you in a really nice public restroom. Oh, I see it. And then, of course, when in the winter, summertime, we get hot here, so you can always bring your mattress out the back, chew all these really powered flamingos, chew them off, then you can lay your mattress over the hillbilly bed springs. Mm -hmm. Then you got something for everyone that works. And vice <laughs> versa, when it gets cold here in the wintertime, you can come out and take a lemonade stand to warm the first time. Oh, I see it. I think we probably get this one. This is the hummus. This is the hummus that's got like ranch. Oh, yeah. Uh, lawnmower ranch. That's cool. And our ten, there are 10 lawnmowers there, by the way. There's 10. <laughs> yeah, there's 10 there. And out of all this, this is, I don't you didn't let me know when you're, you're, you're bored of the Oh, no, lines. you're okay. But so, what here, is this? Uh, well, that one area's got to be reworked. Mother Nature is wicked to me. This is my Salvation Mound, which is a which is a tribute to Salvation Mountain. So the most salvation mountain. He has a big heart and all that stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Well, his heart's like two stories tall. Mine's not big enough for a lot of scriptures, so I have either a guide or Jesus image with mm -hmm. the peace, peace love sign. Mm -hmm. Or as my kid said, wow, Dad, you're so conceited. You put your own image. <laughs> and then then they're like, I gotta go behind you. But then, 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 then you might have heard me mention the county thought they were gonna be a subdivision. They finally did. The ant farm subdivision. Yes. So you made them a subdivision yeah, yeah. out here. They got their wish. Uh, a few other things. Uh, I'm sorry, we'll get a crossover. My cross right away. Uh, oh, over here, you'll notice we're sowing, sowing some new crops. Had a nice bumper crop mm -hmm. came in. So you had a bumper crop. Yeah. This is how bad it get. 
<laughs> and then you probably didn't know it's Kentucky's most proudest rest area. Cruise down highway and pull off the rest there. Yeah. Stop at nighttime and read old fashioned book. We have a chandelier out there and we are using Bud Lights. And then of course, see you know, on this area you have to have a tree, you know, to to to, to the redneck, so to speak. So we'll have a redneck tree. And they're hanging out the dirty laundry with all the beer falling out. Uh, that's funny. And it took a minute for it to uh, focus. Well, I'm not sure how much this you want to hear. But that, yeah, let's go uh, ahead. You got the Hibley time machine. Yeah. But as you can see from here, that flux capacitor is really messed up on it. Otherwise, we're back in LA right now. It's supposed to fuck it here. <laughs> and then that out there in general is my throwaway society wood. So what most people throw away, I nail to a tree. And for court reasons, I figure throwaway society wood sound a lot better in court than junk nail the trees. So. That's right. <laughs> And then I don't know, there's just all kind of things out, out there. You might say, uh, well, we've had a couple of different reality top shows filmed here. So after I left, I was always confused about my reality. <laughs> is anything real? Yeah. What's the Christmas tree? Well, the Christmas tree, is, as you can see, we don't waste our money at Walmart buying imitation Christmas trees. I guess it's pretty darn obvious that we do grow our very own live imitation Christmas trees. So every year we cut a fresh one down for the holidays. A couple of years ago, I did learn if you use a combination of yeast and manure, it does grow the ornaments for you. Mm. Now I know I'll what see. I know what you're saying. You're saying, "Hey, dude, you need to start better quality. Use a better quality e yeast. You're only getting cheap beers out there." <laughs> uh, and then, of course, you can go clubbing here. Or I'm growing new woods. Obviously, growing new woods. Or <laughs> more everywhere. Yeah. So how about the shoes? Okay, these shoes are doing their interpretation of Soul Train. Soul Train. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. In case you missed it, it actually really does suck. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> That's funny. And then over, over here, you do have to watch all the sinkholes. There's sinkholes there for sure. And then I'm growing modern technology, but I know you're saying, hey, dude, that's not so modern anymore. So that's why the rebooting system back there. Then you might be saying, I should weed this all out so new technology can grow this year. You can imagine I bugged the side of my systems out here. <laughs> and then your heavily sound guard. Sound guard. funny i guess i'll leave that one out but uh you're in kentucky now so this is kentucky's legal pot garden legal pot okay. and you might notice you do have to weed out the pans occasionally if you don't the pans will take your good pot mm -hmm. you have the tribute to the undercover cop <laughs> then we get those pesky shrooms that keep showing up and then any tree next to the pot garden probably would be pretty wacky i see i get it yeah this one out there you might notice uh, that there is i always say is uh Think of the sculptures in Europe, the stone sculptures in Europe. Yeah. Yes, that is my hillbilly European sculpture. Mm -hmm. And you go the way I pronounce European, too. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> there, there's all kinds of things. Something I know you won't, won't use, but out there, there's a moth eating couch in the tree out there. And I was in LA for 20 years pursuing acting, so when I came back here, I had to bring the casting couch back with me. So I obviously levitated it so you can see all the dirt going on underneath it. And <laughs> hey, it must have been Harvey's office for a very long time. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> And then, of course, you got a screen people now, so we got our screener here. And then, of course, you pretty much tell them the local agitator, so I need a tribute to myself to so the lonely <laughs> agitator. Now, this is my favorite piece, by the way. This is my favorite piece. Uh, as, as I always say, say, this is the original throughway calling. And then you probably remember in the old days, we used to put these in our back pocket, and we traveled with them. And they got to be really pain in the arse back then. We had to keep something in the store to buy more cord, because obviously, but the cuts you got, the longer cord had to be. Mm -hmm. Didn't go anywhere back then, trim some of those cords, how tough America was back then. And then, then if, if, you were, if you were like me, it, you probably were trying in the back seat trying to sleep as your dad kept waking you up on those mm -hmm. family trips because you had to keep sitting there rolling the cord back up as you got closer to home. <laughs> and then I know he had told the young generation how, how easy they have it. It did take us forever to text on one of these things. It took us long <laughs> to text. We ended up talking our phone. So the original three-way calling leads us to this thing. We got the scoop. We got the scoop. We got the dirt. We got the trash on you. If not, we will. Dig up something about you. <laughs> so the early television news system get the scoop. Yeah. So the three of our organizations at the same time. That's funny. I then, like it. Then, then, then over, over here. Well, there's other music puns out there, but they're kind of broken right now. But that, that was my tribute to Jimi Hendrix. Not sure why Jimi was wearing a hula skirt fan. You might notice the tree is purple. And he did drop his guitar out of the tree. So being on a new one, putting the tree, it must be the day the music died. He'll have that new those three mm -hmm. guys. Then over here, you might notice I get a new frame out here, but you might notice him be under a brick in the wall breaking the wall and then there's loosely you can kind of see them out there they're not that great but there's four doors out there so obviously i'd be my truth to the doors to the doors yeah one door out there has no screen in it, so i'd be jim morrison he's always shirtless <laughs> on stage and then over here this is nothing more than a hibbly chariot that's all it was a hibbly chariot 
So obviously your peons would pedal their king or queen around. Then about six or seven years ago, the hot rod parture and the mole parture came down Highway 68 here, and we somehow would be in that dancing day start for those guys. So as my kids were saying, once all these cool hot wheels were floating here, I had nothing to represent the hot rod people here. Mm -hmm. So I ran out here real quick and put my head and headers on the back head. Mm -hmm. headers. So they fit with hot rod people. So now you might notice those peons have to be careful. Once that king or queen kicks in the gear, they're in for one hell of a ride as long as they don't blow their head. <laughs> and you might notice some nice dust buster exhaust system going on there. We got a dust buster. Yeah. And then, of course, I know you've seen these things before, but here's your fully functioning hillbilly gear stand. <laughs> and you might notice there's a heater in your chair, so your rump is cold while you wait for the deer to go by. And then you also might notice we have a beer holder up for you because you do your hands free. Oh, I see it, yeah. And then, uh, then also I give you a first step up to it too, by the way. Oh, you do, you do give one stop, one shot, one step up. Yeah. That's funny. And then, uh, well, this, uh, this here, I, I, I did learn, you might already, already know this. Uh, most people want you a full land in your backyard. No, you don't. When that sucker takes off, it burns your place down. So, so about five months ago, we got a UFO landed here, and it went took off, burned this whole area down. Mm -hmm. So this originally was my grandparents' chicken coop, but now it's my snake place. And you might notice we do have that Terminator Killer Milk Shake. Mm -hmm. Milk Shake. <laughs> I get it. Because the original one did it did melt on me. <laughs> and luckily, our gators did survive. We do have our gator pit, and you gotta be careful; they could snap at you. Right here. Gatorade. Yeah, and then of course we caught one of those rare rubber sharks you might have heard, heard about. The rare rubber sharks. Mm -hmm. And then they say, well, this is like the old, uh, the old road, the old roadside zoo. You know, back in the day and time when you could feed your fingers to the tigers mm -hmm. if you wanted to. And we do have an exhibit in there, but she's very temperamental when she is in there. There is a hillbilly brown bear in there, but when she comes out, most people swear they're looking at a bloodhound. But she's our hillbilly brown bear, and I'm not lying to you <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she, she's in her she looks, she looks like the Duke's, uh, Duke's, uh, she looks like a lay bear uh, she's not going to make her parents there is an old bloodhound in there <laughs> oh, oh yeah our, we have a chicken ranch it's not doing too well our greeter has gone bony <laughs> and yes we're giving our chickens some open ranges to hang out in open range I like that and then we're working on that new bed and breakfast bed and breakfast <laughs> Oh yeah, and then in case you've heard, heard about your near the line between the lakes, so they have an issue with something called the LBLB style. It's got to be true, it's on the air, and that's the land between the lakes beast, mm -hmm. our version of Bigfoot. So when I heard about it, I had to go set a few traps, so I caught a baby beast. But as you see, I forgot to feed it during things, so it's not going to fight over now. But still think it's pretty rare, so <laughs> you usually see the big ones. And then back here, this is all being revamped because of uh, the fire, but you might notice we have some interesting can post piles growing back, or can post. Mm -hmm. Not sure what they're going to grow into yet, but <laughs> as you can probably tell, my art's by accident. And then, of course, we had we, we, we had so many shoes to build a shoe hive for the winter time, or at least that's what I hope they did. A shoe hive. I, yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I I hope they weren't. I hope I didn't have that many suicidal shoes around here. <laughs> so you can see everything growing. You can see all the burnt out here. Yeah. Here. Then we do get concerts here occasionally. We get like some of the look, uh, some of the the, look, uh, the the indie bands here. They will form form here. So this whole area becomes a dance floor. So we have the "Don't Tread on Me" tree. Don't mm -hmm. tread on me. Oh yeah, and you might notice the flipping tree. And when you come around here, you'll notice a few of them flip out on us. <laughs> and if you ever have a UFO land in your backyard, I advise you not to wear flip-flops out there. They're very combustible. There was over 200 flip-flops on this tree. Oh really? So they burn up? Yeah, they burn up. They burn quickly, right up. Now, over here you see some fire damage here too. But this was our ugly tree. Ugly. Mm -hmm. But after night of concerts, will look much made of the drink. It does become your booty tree. <laughs> And then, uh, then, then over here, you might notice I'm recreating where that spaceship landed, which is you might be noticing it might have landed on top of my brush pile. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can't change the lease on the spaceship. This will be worked on. And I'll put this one when they came to put out the fire. The fire marshal walked towards me, the fire, fire chief. He goes, Do you know how this fire started? And I go, Could have been my brush pile right there, but the story is a UFO landed here tonight. Yeah. He rode his eyes up and just walked off. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh yeah, another music plan, I will tumble for you. I will tumble for you. Mm -hmm. This over here is your tree of lost soulmates. Lost souls. Then your morning alcoholics tree. That's and good. then, of course, you gotta be careful you don't get mugged. Yeah. And that can replace the, beer, the coffee mugs with beer bottles, maybe your hungover tree. <laughs> this here is your valley of lost souls. 
lost those, but as you might be noticing, I guess they're happy they are lost together. But they did have a rough night, as you might notice. They're pretty mossed over. Mm-hmm. They really are. And then you do have to watch in those cases of crocs show up. Which, <laughs> which I know she have a pair of. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then a few of those have awoken because they've seen the light. They saw the light. So I'm assuming it must be the church ladies. They're all high hills. That's it. Yeah. And they're either shouting or preaching the gospel to you while talking in tongues. <laughs> then over here we do have Jack. Jack in the beanstalk. And then in our face of a very giant. Then think cool. cars. Think, think cars, Radiator Springs. Mm -hmm. You're at the real Radiator Springs. <laughs> well, you know, we do. You really gave a lot of thought to this stuff. Well, yeah, everything's put together. It's tongue in, tongue, tongue in cheek. The retirement home, obviously, retirement home. You might notice one tire does not want to get hit by a car going across the street to gossip with neighbors. Then the sexy tire is still out here sunbathing in the shade for some reason. The other tire is falling and can't get up. <laughs> uh, the younger tires are still have the rims, are performing for the older tires. And then you may notice the one guy back there had a major blowout. So now they're trying to lifeline them up. I like it. And then that one's too tired to get up. <laughs> the beach range of music is confusing people. It is coming at you in stereo. Mm -hmm. Stereo, so to speak, because we know <laughs> stereo is sound mm -hmm. and not sight, so mm -hmm. stereo, so to speak. Bob Lard, the main key here, so this is your Hibbley Secure Daycare Center, Secure Daycare Center. And I did learn a lot about, about this one time, because it was a, a like a reality show filming here, we were doing a ghost hunt, and they had me chasing a ghost, which basically I'm chasing some cameraman that's got a snake cam, mm -hmm. backers with it. He's got infrared goggles on, so you can see where he's going at nighttime backwards, mm -hmm. has spotted him spot with infrared goggles. I'm out here, no infrared goggles on at all. Very cloudy night, no moonlight whatsoever. So I'm chasing this cameraman, and I end up in this bob wire back there. Oh, Lord. And that night I learned several things. First of all, I did learn ghosts can actually get through bob wire. I sure couldn't. And also learned how painful my art can be, as you already discovered the bad puns and stories. <laughs> so I saw the orange is up now. And then, and then of course, your uh, uh, Calvary City does have, have a fully functioning drive-in movie theater. still works this day. It's owned by the same family, by the way, that started it. Uh, so this is my kid's homage to it. Mm. And the tires do my retirement home to go to the movies. <laughs> Now, as you might notice, we do have the devil tester. I need to clean the mirror also. <laughs> but we do have the devil tester. And as you might already pretty well guess by now, the neighbors thought I was the devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what they were doing to me, I felt like they were the devil. So inspired his face here. <laughs> so you do pass the devil test. Then you're welcome to come over here and go down to the hot party. Give me air conditioning to take it with you. <laughs> might need a of course. And I do understand the pyrotechnics are quite awesome down there. I bet. <laughs> now, this here... Uh, there are mashed potato cans, by the way, in case you can't see. I need to clean my cans off. But this is the original set of mm -hmm. mash. Mash. Yeah. Complete with boot camp. <laughs> Radar's making a special appearance. I'm not sure how much he's charging for his autograph, but he's making a special appearance. And once one of those high hills makes it over here, we'll have cleaner, too. Mm, that's right. <laughs> then, of course, this one's I got rebuilt. I, I have a guy here cut me off. Uh, basically, you see, this was the Hibbley Gymnasium, but the only trouble is I'm missing my dumbbell, which, you know, is a long, mm -hmm. with two tires on both sides. Mm -hmm. And I give you the extra weights. <laughs> the expression of what you want to lose when you're working out. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to work out too long, you might get too tired out. <laughs> now, now this one you're probably not going to like. I don't know my wife's already told you about yeah, it. Yeah, she told me. Yeah. So, so obviously, well, as always. Uh, this you, was the king. Yeah. And as way, way I was always tell it, someone donated me that toilet. And that time we set up for Halloween, so I was dragging my skeleton along with the toilet. Mm -hmm. And also I had a flashback to Elvis has left the building. Mm -hmm. Set it up, we got my wife. I said, what do you think this is? She goes, it looks like Elvis has left the building. I go, exactly. And she's like, go on, nervous. See, I ran her. Everyone here thinks he's the king. <laughs> so I say, I'll, I'll, I'll never know. So then one day I was walking by, his arm and leg had fallen off. Someone gave him more or less a dirty look for that. So then all of a sudden, well, he's all shook up, falling to pieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know he looks like he might want that fire head out there. Uh, he, he didn't, but I guess now he's bur bur burning up with love. Fire that's <laughs> burning love. <Yep. laughs> and then over here real quick, you might notice uh, modern technology impaired. And then you <laughs> might be saying, it looks like one of those new 3B computers, because everything looks 3D mm -hmm. after 3Bs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now all your bad can plans is going to match it. So my open canvas. You're not in Kansas any longer. However, be careful you don't trip and fall into Alba Valley Canyon. <laughs> and then, yes, you're getting ready to fly over to Kansas City or Canada. And then over here, you might notice if you take that King 10 Ken Alley area, mm -hmm. it does lead you right to the return of the King of Pop. <laughs> Ignore the beer cans. I do get, get tired of drinking Pop, so I switch out of the cage. <laughs> now, this is just for the bad pun. I was shocked to have come here one day and saw my chainsaw in a tree. 
Us against Hux, oh, chainsaw, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then you might be looking at these, probably not, but you might be looking at these going, hey, dude, you should have had open with these. <laughs> but obviously I didn't. However, Walmart does like this project. I go to Walmart, buy myself a nice can opener. Yes, I have one tin cans with it. I have to go buy another one open on this. It's based on two facts. Funny. But this is ever growing, you might see, because all the trees grow up and those are all ready to, to make more cans mm -hmm. out there. And then, as you can see, we are actually in a valley, so when it rains, uh, I hope my cans are repositioning on me all the time. <laughs> I bet. So I'm out. So after every rainstorm, I'm, I'm out here having to stomp cans back into the ground. <laughs> now, I don't I don't know. Uh, man, okay. We get deer that kind of keep coming through here all the time. It keeps messing this thing up, but uh, i going to get this set up again. Uh, this got messed up since last year. I was giving a tour just earlier then, it wasn't messed up. But this is, uh, you, you guys might not like, well, like this, I, I do believe, but this might be a question. So this is the Holy Roller Church. Okay. Holy Roller. Mm-hmm. You might notice a few of the pressures are strapped in <laughs> for one hell of a ride. <laughs> and this church has added a, uh, added a washing machine so I can wash you free your sins and your bunny. And then I probably did go too far on this one. We also have the old, we have our interpretation of the Last Supper. I hear you. And then I'm going to blame this one on good old Johnny, uh, Johnny Cash, obviously. We do have the old rugged, rugged cross. cross. Yeah. <laughs> and then going along that way, you might notice the chairs are trying to get closer to them, working on a chair way to heaven. Mm -hmm. But they're having issues getting there like me. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> and then over there, the tree is laying down. When it's upright, we just got Mother Nature's piece of art, because you might notice it looks like a Tim Burton-ish nightmare mm -hmm. for Christmas tree. Well, obviously, Mother Nature timbered it on me. Mm -hmm. So now I put a denture on top of it. It's the root canal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to say, now, over here, this is where I, uh, you might be saying, it looks like my art studio. I've never built anything back here, but I do some art supplies back here. Oh, so this is yeah. all your stuff uh, that you make make stuff with. And then to appease the neighbors, you may notice I've been nice enough to build a hillbilly castle around it. Mm -hmm. wise. And then you might be saying, hey, dude, it looks like your hillbilly hobby lobby. Mm -hmm. But there is one big difference. We are open on Sundays. <laughs> and then during the summertime, you do have to give out my security team. My security team does some bait on the walls. Mm -hmm. And they work for scale. They work for scale. <laughs> now, I had a French couple standing right, right, right here about three years ago, a French couple. And they start talking gibberish, which means I do not understand French whatsoever. And they're gibbering away. And all of a sudden, the woman does turn to me and she goes, we're just trying to figure out why your angels are smoking. <laughs> So I looked up and went, oh, you're not smoking. <laughs> there's one more orientation piece of my castle wall. I saw Beatles missing. That was it. So when, when I turned back to Jim, it was already for me. He goes, okay, dude, what's your playing words for this thing now? So I look back and I go, I guess they're trying to get higher. <laughs> uh, and then you might notice one angel, I'll call it the male angel. Uh, it doesn't think he's high enough yet, so he's trying to get a little bit more lit. <laughs> and the reason I call him the male angel, you might notice he's trying to get lucky with the other angel. Mm-hmm. And then I give them a direct line after that, direct line. They both have phones. And then we're being politically correct too, you might notice. We do have a left wing and right wing angel. <laughs> and we threw the green party in for the fun of it. <laughs> That's funny. And then of course rolling along. Uh, spring has sprung and already going limp on us, as you might notice. <laughs> and nothing gets left out of the bad pond. So you might notice uh, that is my stepdad's old wood pile. So it's too old to burn now. So that's become my tribute to Deadwood, mm -hmm. South Dakota. And as you get higher on that log, it does come leftover wood stock. <laughs> yep, I see it. And then, of course, as you end your travels, you probably notice our woods out there do nothing but grow bottles. And we obviously harvest those bottles. That's how we got bottles for drinks and stuff. But at the same time, the world news keeps telling us that plastic bottles are bad for the environment. Well, if they're bad for the environment, I'm not sure why they're growing on a tree. So much of that new fake news out there. Mm -hmm. So last time I was traveling, I came across one of those woods. I said, this is one of your trees. I said, sure, you want to dig, it, dig it up. So I did. I planted it right here. <laughs> now, like, and I figured out, though, for the last two to three years, no matter what I do, I can that my balls are growing higher than 10 to 16 feet. And I know what you're saying. You're you're going, hey, dude, how do you even know when to harvest your bottles? Well, you might notice you don't have to harvest them. They do actually ripen and fall to the ground. Yeah, fall to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, you do have the tree of knowledge or the, the old knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then the other tree is your old-fashioned pot belly stove tree, complete with this hot pocket mouth. <laughs> That's funny. They did, as you probably noticed, well, even my stories, the only people who see space aliens seem to be the country people or the hillbillies. So I figure, hey, when you're on spaceship, so the hillbilly spaceship. That does look like a spaceship. Yeah. Takes a lot of pedal power too, by the way, get your booster ignited. Oh, I bet. And then there's a tiny bed hatch on top. 
And I'm assuming that's for the dark side of the moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you may notice there's a new sophisticated push button intercom system. Push button. Mm -hmm. I like it. Then you gotta be careful you don't trip on the mushrooms. They were able to grow the bigger one, but unfortunately this thing fell down recently. But we did have the, uh, or rebuilt it, but we did have the Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland cow puller mm -hmm. with the hookah. You might know the hookah's all busted everywhere. <laughs> and it didn't have to go too far for its produce. The pot garden is just right over there. Mm -hmm. Now, I figure Kentucky needs its very own throne hinge. And after the night of tacos, it does become the ring of fire. <laughs> throne hinge. <laughs> And then over here real quick, we do have a lay sculpture of three doors down. Now you might notice they're not quite down for me yet, so mm -hmm. I'm building a lounge next door to loosen them up a little bit. So you may notice we did pour a new grill and fix them up. And we're drinking some really weak apple pie, moonshine apple pie. I just, just to see the pie side. Mm -hmm. But then my wife's always been playing on pie. There's flowers and vase for a special occasion. So last night I had a ice, ice blur, so I like our nice flower and vase. She did not like it, so it ended up I hear you might notice. <laughs> Some people have pulled this because they'll find it in the center, so they'll find it in the center. But, hey, they're red, so, you know, I didn't know better. Chandelier doubles with a disco light. That's and funny. It, now, I'm not sure why the doors are still hanging on, because you might notice the fancy stemware is virtually empty. <laughs> and I assume you notice I caught the mill man here. You just open this stuff up and start drinking it. Mm -hmm. You know, pointing those mason jars on there. <laughs> and then, my kid's Hibbley treadmill, complete with the lead paint. <laughs> and as you see, it has not affected me whatsoever. <laughs> now, I'll demonstrate this for, 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 for you. I should ride this thing. So this is my kid's soapbox derby system. If you're too scared out of the elephant, the elephant does walk off. you got a nice professional opening to put your rump into. But, uh, but I did travel the circus for a couple years as a circus clown, so I'm not too scared of elephants. However, we'll see what happens here. So uh, here, here we go, my kid's soapbox derby system. Yeehaw! <laughs> he's just plain dead. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, OSHA did approve that. They might have been drunk while they were here, but they did approve it. And the tree I did crash into does need a new chest job. Yes, new it does. Job. And it's all tied together, obviously, tied together. Or, or tie that tree. Or that old-fashioned Father's Day tree when you'd be out buying your dad ties and he's out playing golf. You know, so I already did that one for you, right? I already did that yeah. one. Yeah. Of course, if you need some new retreads to get you back to St. Louis or Tennessee, we got to get you a nice retread here. I like it. Yeah. And then that, that takes too long to talk, talk about, but that's the uh, semi trailer you heard me talk about inside here. 80% of the toy collection is still in this semi trailer. And we're talking the toys are in boxes, four mm -hmm. ceilings stacked up, waiting for wow. a bigger toilet. And the county was trying to call this an abandoned mobile home. And that's definitely not a mobile home. Yeah. And that spaceship you saw, mm -hmm. uh, you, you might realize it might have been a travel trailer in its other lifetime. So, believe it or not, it's our lifetime. It was a travel trailer sitting mm -hmm. right behind you in this area here. My stepdad actually stayed in it on the weekends when he came out and visit us. Mm -hmm. And we saw that license tax for the road. Well, when the county got ready to take us to court, uh, I knew how they were going to be going to have my postcards ready to go. And we're saying we're a lot more ranch. I'm trying to explain to these two guys, the two sheriff deputies, what Calic Ranch is. Mm -hmm. One of the deputies looks at me and goes, Yeah, sure, some idiot would bury 10 Calics in the ground. I go, Well, it sure looks like it did. Got a great start with those guys. So, when we got here, Travel trailer, my stepdad was staying in, license for the road, semi trailer, storage unit, and even some of my toy collection is still in this thing. Yeah. They're trying to tell me both these things are abandoned mobile homes because the way our ordinance is written. Mm -hmm. So they're trying. So that day when I left, because by the time I got up here, I learned not to argue with them. Uh, I, I, when I left, I decided, well, I'll try not to make this look abandoned anymore. I got my house paints, my house paint brushes. I had not painted nothing since high school. I was 40 something when I came back here, so I figured clowns have to be these things to paint. So freestyle, freestyle these clowns up here with my, my 10 16 foot tall ladder. Wow. And that's how they got scary clowns out. The one you see with long hair, that is me when I travel with Fonzer Brothers show. And the rest of the clowns, if you know anything about circus history, are based on real ringling clowns. So, mm -hmm. so that's how the artwork started. That's very cool. Well done, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, no, it's not, well, thanks. Uh, oh, sure. There's more for you. More about, oh, uh, Mr. Yeah. T? Huh? No, this is Hillbilly. Uh, no, well, Hill, uh, Hillbilly is the name of the guy. Uh, that that looks like Mr. T a little yeah. bit. Well, a little bit, but it, uh, it's, it's actually it was a local musician here. Cause, he was a blacksmith person, and he uh, used to be a part of a group. You might have heard of the group. Uh, there's a local group called J.D. Uh, J. Wilkes, uh, the Dirt Divers and Ledger Shack Shakers. 
Well, they filmed a music video here one day, and JD asked me if I do my painting of his painting of his band members. I said, mm -hmm. I'll see what I can do by art slowly by accident. Mm -hmm. like this by accident. He goes, Well, see what happens. He works out, pay for the art too, and we feature the video. I'm like, hey, cool. He shows about a week before the shoot, and he goes, How's the paintings coming along? I said, I think I'm actually done, dude. Mm -hmm. So I should bring the paintings out, show him. He's like, Okay, okay, okay. We get to that one. He goes, Oh, shoot, I forgot to call you until Elaine has left the group. So that's why Elaine's on back to the trade. <laughs> now, Lane had a blacksmith shop up here in this county. Yeah. And his, uh, I, I think in your area, we get hot and humid. You know how it's hot and yeah. humid. Well, he had a blacksmith shop, 1880 style, set up, and he ran a state of hot, humid weather and banged hot metals as opposed to a band. At that yeah. time, I just got from Denmark. So I don't know about you, I returned to the band, I got back from Denmark. Yeah, no doubt. So I built that thing back in my Gaudi tourism days. It was nothing more than a robot to me. Well, now it is my lane sculpture, because as some of you already noticed, that's portable forge for the blacksmith shells. Mm -hmm. And you got the stoves that resonate the heat. Lane also is a Kentucky folk teller, so he does hot air blow mm -hmm. And you may notice he's breaking it in. <laughs> and then when he's part of the dirt, obviously he'll play a gun bucket base. So, mm -hmm. so, so that's what that's all about. Oh, right. That's cool. And to give you an idea how bad that is on uh, the painting, that's supposed to be Angelina Jolie out there, by the way. Oh, that is? Yeah, supposed to be. And so is this, too, by the way. <laughs> I can't see it. There she is. And, and you're saying this is supposed to be Angelina too? Yeah. <laughs> and if you if you didn't recognize her, it seems like you didn't. Uh, so if you didn't recognize her, you have an Angie on the spaceship. Her eyes went buggy on me, so she was my space alien. Yeah. And no, I'm not sure that's what Angelina is, though it may look like it. Uh, uh, when I first went to L.A., her and I were studying under Susan Strasberg, Lee Strasberg's daughter, mm -hmm. and we were doing the meth acting workshops, and we hung out for two years on. Let's go. Cool. So when I came back here, I had to do a painting of her because yeah. I wanted her one day one of her painting lessons. Yeah. Like, so it was here waiting on. That's cool. And uh, there's what else we got. Uh, there's only one other that fun. I know you probably want to walk around. I didn't mean to give the whole tour. You oh, seem, no, that's you, great. You seem like you're uh, a color course in Kentucky, and I think it goes the same for Tennessee. You do have to have a tribute to the bootleggers. Yes. That's funny. Yeah. There's probably a few more bad plans here, but I think that's the gist, 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 gist of it. Well, no, it's it's all good, my friend. I really appreciate it. This is this has been really cool. I love, love the whole thing. It's It's great. So it's our ever-growing thing, as you can imagine. It's yeah. It, it goes up, comes down. And... Constantly doing stuff. So, friends, to go over and meet Keith and Diane at the Apple Valley Hillbilly Garden in Toyland, you see the highway right there is 68, which is off of I-24, just outside of Paducah. Check out that website. It is applevalleyhillbillygardenintoyland.com. <laughs> And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.